Hi Sag, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one free personal reading at the end of the month to one subscriber so if you are interested in winning a personal reading with me all you have to do is stay tuned to the end of this video and i will announce the mechanics on how to join that reading uh that draw all right so okay sag your overall energy for this reading is the three of swords you have the hanged man give me a few seconds you have the hanged man you have the queen of pentacles and then the Page of Pentacles. You have the Tower. The Six of Swords. All right. And then the Two of Wands. Okay. I'm getting attachment, attachment to um, someone from the past. You have the three of swords as your overall energy. You could have gone through a heartbreak the last few days, few weeks, okay, few months. Um, the main the main energy is that you've already gone through this this heartbreak, or you're, if not, you will be next few days. But don't panic. Take it how it resonates. But very much, a lot of people have gone through this already. For a lot of you, it will resonate that you have gone through this already, this heartbreak. You're coming out of heartbreak or you're trying to figure out how to come out of heartbreak. You have the hanged man to the tower. I'm getting while you are trying to figure things out, why it ha why this heartbreak had to happen to you, how do you heal, how do you move on, there's a sudden surprise coming towards you, a sudden realization. I'm getting you're actually, you're actually realizing that this is not the kind of love you want. This is not the kind of love you want. You're actually someone who's, I'm getting very stable financially, very secure financially. You're very grounded. All right. Um, you could have water placements because the hanged man is a Pisces card and the tower card is a Scorpio card. So you could have those placements. But what I'm getting here is that, yes, there is a realization. What do you really want? Or you finally realize that, while going through this heartbreak, while going through this pain, you finally realize, you finally, I'm getting streamlined. You gain some sort of clarity. What kind of love do you really want? There are a lot of shocks during the time of realization like, no, that wasn't love. No, why did I do that? Why, why did I do that? Was that love for me? Or... I'm getting you're getting more clarity on what really what is love really for you. What is love really for you? All right? There are things we think that we do out of love, but sometimes we do because we just don't want to be lonely or just because we we feel that we need to take care of this person because no one will take care of them, all right? We go through those things. We go through those things and, you know, label it as love. But it's not love, all right? It's not love. You have the Queen of Pentacles to the Six of Swords, all right? So I'm getting you realizing what you're capable of. You're realizing how stable you are, how secure you are. I'm re You're realizing that, excuse me, all right. Let me adjust it a little bit. You're realizing that you are so much more than how this person treated you in the past. This person who broke your heart. 
I'm getting you've actually focused a lot on your work, on your money, and your career. On your in your home life, a very major shift in your home life. I'm getting. But you realize that you're actually a catch. Anyone would be lucky to have you. And you're... I'm, I'm getting you're realizing your worth. And now you're trying... You're now acting as how much you are worth. If that makes any sense. Comment down below if you get what I meant. Alright? Now you're moving on. You're moving on to calmer shores. You're moving on. You're very protected by spirit. You understand that you had to go through this, through this fated change, through this tower moment, through these fated changes. It's um, a rite of passage kind of um, situation where you had to go through all that pain. You had to go through all that um, uh, through all that pain, through that heartbreak for you to realize what you're worth and you're worth so much more than that so much more worth than that all right once you realize once you move on from that situation someone new will come towards you pages bring news pages bring new all right as we always say this so uh, this is someone who wants to send you a gift someone who wants to date you send you flowers take you on a date all right um but i'm getting your actually a little bit re uh, can i say it again you're actually a little bit reluctant, Sag. You're actually a little bit reluctant whether or not you want to give this person a chance. Number one, this person could be at a distance from you. So there could be physical long uh, um, travel for you to be both together, together. But other than that, you're actually reluctant because you're not really sure if this person is at your level. Please take it how it resonates. Please don't shoot the messenger when I say it. That's just the energy that I'm getting. You're trying to see if this person is at your level. Yes, pages bring news. Pages bring new. But are they like immature? You're trying to see if they fit your life. If they are the right person for you. They. You're trying to see those things. Because a queen will match a king. A king, a queen will not match a page, all right? But if this is new, of course, this is new. But if they mature to or they level up to a king, that would be great, right? Let's see. What is the overall outcome to this reading? Oh my god! <laughs> I told you, I told you. So this is possibly a counterpart, the divine counterpart, all right? And, well, king of wands. You have the king of pentacles, the king of wands, the four of pentacles, the five, uh, I mean, the three of wands, the two of cups, and then the queen of swords. So there's a lot of clarity coming towards you. Clarity in what kind of love you want. You want a real partnership. You want a stable union, all right? That's clarity. You have the three of wands, expansion coming towards you. Your ships are finally sailing in, coming in. Um, you're finally getting the things that you want. You're finally expanding, all right? You have the four of pentacles, um, a little bit closed off to people, especially when they come off as a king of wands. So... Someone passionate, someone fiery, someone who treats you with a lot of passion, wants to treat you with a lot of romance. You're very closed off to this kind of energy. There could be actually there could actually be two people involved who want to pursue you, or this could be one person with two kinds of energies. Alright? Someone who's also stable, someone who can give you a lot of stability, someone who's financially stable, secure, mature, with the energy of someone who's passionate towards you, someone who can be loyal, all right? But other than that, there could be two people coming towards you wanting to make you an offer. What is the... You know, that's what happens when you understand how much you're worth. That's what happens. You attract 
different kind of people you attract the right kind of people the right kinds of people towards you you attract a lot of people you get attractive period because you understand your self-worth because you know you will never settle less than you deserve all right and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that you have the two of pentacles advice for you is two of pentacles the justice card The King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Justice card, and then the Two of Pentacles, all right? The advice for you is very, very simple. Wait on it a little more. Wait on it a little bit more. You have to decide. Don't be undecided. Don't play these people, all right? Don't play these, these people. You have to decide, okay? You have the King of Cups. There's someone who loves you so dearly. Or who will grow to love you dearly. Alright? So, there's someone made, there is someone out there made for you. That is only for you. Alright? And then the justice card. Alright? So, what you give out to the universe, you will get back. So, if you were good to someone, or if you were good to your exes in the past, you will eventually find the one that will treat you well. All right, there's a lot of karma coming towards you, good karma. Okay, let's see the other messages coming towards you. I mean, other messages that Spirit wants to tell you. Other messages coming towards you, openness. Be open to this, all right? Also, it could happen during the full moon, the next full moon okay and then blessings there's a lot of blessings coming towards you you have love love is coming towards you oh and then embracing embracing change embracing um re reality embracing the things that you can actually manifest you have leadership the king of pentacles is someone who is most likely a leader actually one two well you have the king of cups the you, the king of pentacles and then the king of wands so you're short of one king to become a, who becomes an emperor anyway and then wisdom there's a lot of wisdom coming towards you especially during the hangman and tower um tower moments hangman has a lot of wisdom all right that is all i have for you sash i hope something in this reading resonated if it did please give this video a thumbs up all right and write in the comment section down below how it resonated for you if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me all you have to do to do is number one be subscribed to my channel completely free for everyone and number two write in the comment section down below what is meant for me will never pass me by what is meant for me will never pass me by. So that is you telling yourself, affirming to yourself that what is meant for you will always be for you. You don't need to chase it. You don't need to go out look, looking for it. You don't need to hold on so dearly to it. Because what is meant for you will always be for you. So that's all I have for you, Sag. I'll see you in the next reading. I love you all and stay blessed.